guys, welcome back to episode 3 of the Backyard BMX Jump Series. I'm in here making some breakfast and we've got a bit of leg to eat, so yeah. track and if you haven't seen episode one and two we have this jump here that is complete that is all ready we've ridden that um i don't know why i keep saying we it's only me down here at the moment because obviously i am self-isolating but yeah after my um isolation is done then i will be able to get the duttons up here and we'll all be able to session this big old line so yeah um today we are going to be focusing on this jump here I'd like to make it obviously at the moment it is like that but I'm gonna put some pallets up against it and cut all these sides off and make it a lot taller so yeah let's not do any more talking and we'll get straight back into a build lap so yeah So this one has actually taken me only an hour, um, which I'm quite impressed with actually. I know most of the dirt was already there, but yeah, it's looking really nice. Obviously there's still a lot of work to do, finalising it and making it proper, but yeah, the, f the shape's there for now. Um, so I think what I might do is start doing the landing, to be honest. Um, I could hit it like this, like the takeoff, how it is, even though it's not like properly done, um, just to sort of see how it hits. So I'm gonna start doing the landing, make that sort of nearly done as well, and then we'll send it. So yeah, let's go straight into another time lapse of the landing. guys looking at this now I have just had a little idea obviously for this hip it is going uphill anyway so then it is going to be really tall so my idea is obviously because we're going to need a lot of speed to get to this hip I'm going to take most of this dirt bring this out to about here and make it into a spine make it a bit taller and have it come down have this as a pump bump and then hopefully you'll have enough speed to hit the hip. This is a bit of a risk really because I'm going to obviously have the spine here and then I'll have the pump bump so then you won't, you'll have quite a distance really to get to the hip so you could lose a bit of speed but what I might have to do if that is the case is have this spine pump bump and then wooden decking 
along here so that you carry your speed into the hip and so on. So yeah, I think that is what I'm gonna do. So let's start making this into a spine. My battery did die on my camera again, so now I'm back down at the track with a full charge on my camera. But I decided to do something a little bit weird. Bring one of our rescue chickens down with us. This one here is the one that's in the worst day out of them all. You can see she's not looking too good. So I thought I'll bring her down because every time I'm doing a shovel load, there's always loads of worms and stuff like that and little bugs coming out. So I brought her down with us so that she can eat them all and get her, get all her feathers back. So yeah, let's carry on, but now with the chicken. So guys, that is gonna be the end of the video now. Um, I can't get enough speed to clear this first jump. It's just the berm's not big enough, it's too wet. The bike's not very good either. So I think what I'm gonna do is fix my jump bike chain, get my jump bike down here. Um, so yeah, next episode we are gonna be riding the whole line. Hopefully we'll get that done next episode, but the main priority is getting that berm big enough so that we can completely rail it without having to pedal and then clear this first jump because as soon as you clear the first jump you'll get enough speed for the next two or three so yeah that's fine once we've got this big old berm done we'll be ready to send all these jumps so yeah thanks for watching today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe